loves you. He wants to help. But he can't help if you keep the door closed. You have to open the door. You see, he's standing there knocking with his hand, as we'll see in a moment. And then thirdly, we've been talking about earlier this evening, the hand of compassion. He said, I have compassion on the multitude because they've now been with me three days and have nothing to eat. So he said, feed them, the hungry people of the world. He has compassion on them. He has compassion on you tonight in your need, in your hurt, in your place, in your suffering. And as he looked out over the city of Jerusalem, he had compassion on that great and magnificent city. He knew that judgment was in store for the city, and it says that he had compassion on them. And he looks over Cincinnati tonight. He looks over Kentucky and Indiana and Ohio, these three great states, and he has compassion. And then fourthly, there's the hand of blessing. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took up the little children, and the Scripture says he blessed them. I see little children here tonight. You may have gray hair and you may have a bald head, but in God's sight you're a little child. And Jesus wants to take you in his arms and love you and bless you and change you and make you a new person and make your home a new place and give you hope and purpose and meaning for life if you'll let him, but you have to open the door. But you have to become as a little child. You can't come to Jesus with your shoulders red back and with a lot of pride. You have to get rid of all that pride and say, Lord, I'm a sinner. You died for me on the cross, and I'm coming to that cross, and I want your blessing. I want forgiveness of my sins. Has that happened to you?